Hi, my name is Daniel Prosi, and uh, today we will discuss a paper named Tracking Everything, Everywhere, All at Once. Um, as always, let's start uh, from a brief introduction. Optical flow is, uh, estimation is without doubt uh, highly useful in a field of uh, computer vision. It is uh, used in many tasks uh, like uh, for motion uh, analysis of objects uh, in a video uh, to understand their uh, movements, patterns, directions, uh, accelerations, uh, and so on. Uh, it's used for video, uh, shaky video stabilization. It's used for object tracking, of course, uh, for uh, frame interpolation uh, to create smoother uh, motion and so on and so on. Uh, motion estimation uh, is usually divided into two parts. Uh, it's uh, uh, sparse optical flow. Uh, it's mostly uh, estimated by uh, Lucas Canada methods and uh, its variations. And uh, dense optical flow. There are a huge variety of uh, methods uh, from classic uh, Farnerberg's uh, algorithm and uh, to a lot uh, of neural networks, uh, even uh, transformer-based uh, flow former yeah, from uh, uh, last uh, couple of years. So, um, existing methods uh, have uh, a lot of uh, strengths and also have some weaknesses. Uh, for uh, sparse methods, uh, it's uh, the strengths it's uh, that uh, they can establish long-range correspondence. They work uh, pretty fast, uh, but this correspondence is uh, limited to a set of distinctive interest points. Uh, and often restricted to rigid scenes. As for dense optical flow, uh, the methods uh, allow uh, for precise motion estimation between uh, consecutive frames, uh, but usually not suited for a long range motion estimation, which uh, results in drift and fails in uh, occlusion handling. Uh, uh, there are exist some, uh, some multi frame flow methods uh, that can estimate. Uh, multi-frame trajectories through occlusions by leveraging context uh, within a wider uh, temporal window, uh, but produce motion for a longer for a video longer than this temporal window. They still must uh, chain correspondences, uh, uh, a process that is prone to drift, and uh, will lose uh, track of points uh, that remain occluded beyond the window. Uh, so, uh, the authors presented um, an uh, omnimotion algorithm that uh, maintain uh, that can maintain accurate uh, tracks across uh, long uh, sequences, uh, tracking points through uh, occlusions, and uh, also maintaining coherence uh, in space and time. Uh, Omnimotion represents a video uh, using a quasi 3D uh, canonical volume and performs uh, pixel wise uh, tracking via uh, bijections uh, between a local and canonical uh, space. Uh, this representation allows to ensure global, uh, global consistency, uh, track through occlusions, and model any combination of uh, camera and uh, object motion. Uh, about the pipeline, uh, as input uh, are used uh, a set of uh, video frames uh, and uh, some existing method uh, outputs. Here yeah, the authors uh, used uh, exhaustive computation uh, of every pairwise uh, correspondences. So, for example, for benchmark, uh, they used uh, Raft and uh, TapNet. Uh, next, um, uh, this uh, flow uh, predictions uh, between distance frame can contain uh, significant errors. Uh, so, 
and the authors uh, used uh, cycle consistency and appearance consistency uh, check uh, to uh, filter uh, those errors and uh, next using uh, those inputs uh, the authors um, represent uh, the scene uh, in the video uh, as a canonical 3d uh, volume that is mapped to uh, local volumes for each frame through local canonical bijections uh, the um, local canonical bijections are parameterized as uh, neural networks and uh, capture both uh, camera and uh, <coughs> motion without disentangling uh, the two. Uh, as such, the video can be uh, considered as a, a rendering of the resulting local volume and uh, from a fixed static uh, camera. Uh, but um, the resulting representation uh, is uh, not a physically accurate uh, 3D, uh, 3D scene, but as uh, some sort of uh, quasi-3D representation. Uh, and uh, once uh, the optimization is uh, done, we can now track, uh, track all pixels, uh, even while they are occluded. Now, about uh, Omnimotion parts, uh, again, the key is to represent uh, a video video's content uh, using a canonical uh, volume G uh, that uh, act uh, as a three-dimensional atlas uh, of the observed scene. Uh, similar as uh, in NERF, uh, the authors defined a coordinate-based network of theta uh, over G that maps each canonical 3D uh, coordinate uh, U to a density uh, sigma and a color c. Uh, the density stored uh, in G uh, is a key and it tells uh, us where the surface in a canonical space. Uh, so uh, together with uh, uh, the 3D bijections uh, T, I, this allows us to track uh, surfaces over multiple frames, uh, as well as uh, reasons about occlusion uh, relationships. The color stored in G uh, allows us to compute a photometric loss uh, during optimization. Uh, a continuous uh, bijective mappings uh, Ti is um, mapping Ti is defined that um, maps uh, 3D points uh, from each a local coordinate uh, frame uh, to the canonical uh, 3D uh, coordinate frame. Uh, these mappings are parameterized as uh, invertible neural networks and uh, ensure uh, that the resulting correspondences between uh, 3D points in individual frames are all cycle consistent. So, uh, this is uh, an illustration of the architecture for invertible network uh, MCTA that maps uh, between local and canonical coordinates frames. Uh, MCTA consists of uh, six uh, fine uh, coupling layers. Uh, they're uh, shown one of them uh, with uh, alternating uh, split patterns. Um, the learnable component in each affine uh, coupling layer is a uh, multi-layer perceptron uh, that computes a scale and uh, a translation uh, from a frame latent uh, code uh, psi i uh, and the first part of the uh, input coordinates. Uh, this scale in translations is then applied to the uh, second part of the input coordinate and this process uh, subsequently is re repeated for uh, each of the coordinates. And the uh, multi-layer perceptron uh, network uh, in each fine coupling layer uh, has three layers with uh, 256 uh, channels. Uh, to compute the corresponding 2D location for a given query point uh, PI mapped uh, from frame I to frame J, uh, we showed a uh, ray uh, Li and sample uh, K samples, uh, X, I, K. Uh, uh, we sample K samples uh, on the ray, which are equivalent to 
appending uh, a set of depth value z uh, to, uh, it, uh, to pi. And uh, despite not being uh, a physical, uh, a physical camera array, uh, it captures the notion of uh, multiple surfaces uh, at each pixel and suffices uh, to handle occlusions. Uh, next, we obtain uh, densities and uh, colors uh, for these samples by mapping them to, to the canonical space uh, and then querying uh, the density network uh, F theta. Uh, we can also map uh, each sample along the ray to a corresponding 3D location uh, X, J, K in frame J. Uh, we can now aggregate the correspondences uh, x, j, k uh, from all samples to produce a single correspondence uh, x, j, head. This aggregation is similar to how uh, the colors of sample points uh, are aggregated, aggregated, <laughs> aggregated uh, in NERV. And the authors uh, used uh, alpha compositing uh, then uh, computed uh, x j hat, which is then uh, projected uh, using the stationary orthography camera model uh, to yield uh, the predicted 2D corresponding location p j hat uh, for the query uh, location p i. Uh, for the optimization process, uh, the authors used uh, weighted uh, sum of three losses. Uh, the first one is flow loss. Uh, it's defined as a mean absolute error between the predicted uh, flow from uh, optimized representation and the uh, supervising uh, input flow from raft or uh, depthnet. Uh, the second one is photometric loss. Uh, it's defined as uh, mean uh, square error uh, between the predicted color and uh, between the actual color from uh, input frames. And uh, acceleration uh, regularization term uh, used uh, to ensure uh, temporal smoothness uh, of the 3D motion uh, estimated by M theta and uh, given a uh, a sample 3D location x i in the frame i, uh, we map it to frame uh, i minus one and i plus one uh, using yielding 3D uh, points x minus one and x plus one, and then minimize uh, 3D acceleration using uh, this formula. Uh, finally, comparison. Uh, the authors uh, used uh, four. Uh, metrics. It's uh, delta uh, x average, uh, which measures the average position accuracy of visible points across uh, five thresholds, uh, 1, 2, 4, 8, and 16 pixels. Uh, next, uh, it's uh, average uh, jacquard, uh, which evaluates both uh, occlusions uh, and occlusion and position accuracy on the same thresholds uh, as uh, delta x average. Uh, it categorizes predicted points, uh, locations as uh, true positive, false positive, and uh, false negative. And uh, it's defined as the ratio of uh, true positive uh, positives to all points. Uh, true positives, uh, that's uh, the point uh, within the uh, threshold uh, of a visible round true ground truth point. Uh, false positives are points uh, that are predicted as visible, but where the ground truth is occluded or beyond the threshold. And uh, false negatives are uh, ground truth uh, visible points uh, that are predicted as occluded or are uh, beyond uh, the threshold. Uh, also should be mentioned that as uh, baselines, uh, the authors used uh, some variations of raft and uh, flow walk, uh, also tapnet, pips, and uh, deformable sprites. Uh, the hype and C uh, means uh, that the authors used uh, the chained uh, algorithm. Uh, it's uh, the uh, approach to um, 
actually chain uh, the prediction between uh, consecutive frames into uh, long uh, range tracks. And uh, hype and D variation means that, that the authors directly computing uh, approach um, flow uh, between any non-adjacent uh, query and target frames. Uh, as uh, omni motion variations, the authors used uh, two models, uh, which uh, are which were trained using uh, Tapnet uh, noisy predictions as input and uh, raft uh, noisy predictions. So, uh, finally, some visualization. Uh, here we can see comparison of uh, omni motion in the bottom right corner uh, with. Uh, and others uh, baselines, uh, rough C, flow, walk C, and pips. Uh, here uh, we can uh, uh, focus on uh, on the points on the woman, uh, and uh, we can see that uh, Omni Motion handles uh, occlusions uh, pretty good. Uh, pips uh, is trying, but uh, it uh, failed a lot of points. While uh, raft C and flow walk C, uh, yeah, they just gave up. Uh, another comparisons with raft, raft D, flow walk D, and tapnet. Again, uh, Omni Motion uh, shows uh, the best results. Uh, and also comparisons uh, of uh, Omni Motion with uh, deformable sprites. Uh, deformable sprites uh, is a uh, layer based. A video decomposition method uh, that, uh, like uh, Omni Motion method, uh, used uh, used uh, um, a per video test time optimization. So those approaches uh, have some similarities uh, in the pipeline, but not in uh, results. Uh, we can again see that uh, Omni Motion handles. Uh, Route on camera motions pretty good. Uh, it handles occlusions uh, nice too. Uh, while uh, deformable sprites, uh, they, it's, uh, it fails uh, on the moment of uh, camera zoom and then failed completely uh, on occlusions. So, uh, a new test time optimization method for estimating dense and long range motion from a video sequence was presented. While the method presents uh, significant advancements in motion estimation, it does have a uh, few limitations. Uh, it can struggle with uh, repeat and highly not rigid motion as well as uh, scene structures. Uh, and uh, the methods can also no, it's not can, it uh, will be uh, computationally expensive because at first uh, we uh, have to uh, pairwise calculate uh, flow uh, uh, pairwise between every uh, frame, uh, which scales quadratically with uh, sequence lens uh, and also similarly to other methods uh, using narrow implicit rep representations. Uh, the optimization process uh, can be quite long. Um, but still, uh, looking forward uh, to the release of the code to tame this beast uh, ourselves. And uh, thank you for your attention.